Hi, I'm Manny Koshman. You're in my man cave, and today I'm gonna to give you a tour of my garage. Right here, we got the Bugatti Veyron 2006. This is probably the only car I have stock that's not a one-off one and still pretty cool. I mean, this was a car that broke the speed limit and you know, 253 miles an hour is still pretty fast. And it's almost 20 years old. We got a Rembrandt Bugatti. This is one of my favorite cars in my collection because I get to smoke my cigar and it does 253 miles an hour without the top. But this is really cool because it was made in memory of Ettore Bugatti's brother, Rembrandt Bugatti, uh, who was a sculptorist artist that did life-size elephants in bronze. So the car is finished in exposed carbon in bronze finish and has a whole bunch of cool elephant sculptures inside. Aside from being 1200 horsepower, it's also very rare. They only made three in the world. This is the only one for US and I'm very fortunate to be able to have it. And it's really, truly a piece of art. Here, we got two cars that I don't own. They're just my guests for a couple of days. Compliments of Peterson Museum. Thank you. This is an EB110, very rare as well. Uh, I think they made 139 of these. And this one here is uh, the regular version, which has 550 horsepower. There is also super sports they made with more horsepower. And then here is really the jewel of my uh, showroom. I don't own the car again, it's Pearson Museum, but this is a Bugatti that was gifted to Shah of Iran back in 1939. It's the one-off Bugatti as a gift given from the government of France to uh, Shah of Iran. So it's extremely rare and I don't even want to guess how much it's worth, but this is just an absolute beautiful Bugatti. This is uh, obviously fully restored and it's eight cylinder, I believe. I don't know how many uh, speed transmission, but I'm guessing three speed for being 1939. But this is just so long. It's almost like a yacht, like an antique yacht. So gorgeous. And my dream is to drive it one day. So Peterson Museum, Let's make that happen. <laughs> Here is another Bugatti. This was an interesting project. Uh, I have uh, commissioned Hermes to do three cars for me. This was my second car and uh, took me a, quite a while uh, between the two companies to come to terms with design. But the car is finished in Cray, which is Hermes paint. It has obviously a unique horseshoe etch for Hermes emblem. Uh, the inside is all one-off design by Hermes and also a one-off fabric. This is the only time they use this fabric pattern for interior. Uh, it's really seamless, simple, elegant. Uh, typically, chiron seats have a lot of design curvature to the seats uh, embedded. This one, Hermes wanted to just make it simple, really gorgeous, my favorite. And even the wheels are dipped in the paint. So one of the coolest features of the car is the rear wing. It's also painted to match the, uh, the horse pattern on the fabric. Now, of course, I had to get the sky view. Uh, originally, I wanted to get a roadster. When Winkleman decided not to do the roadster on the Chirons, I opted for the glass top, which is called the sky view. But this is my best uh, I would say form of art automobile in my collection. Beauty and the Beast, 1500 horsepower. And let me show you the baggage. All my three Hermes cars come with their own bags, of course. If you're gonna have Hermes design your car, you gotta get the bags. So let me show you that. And voila, the bag also matches the same exact fabric and leather of the interior. And of course, it comes with a one-off badge. And it even comes with the driving gloves made out of the same exact leather as the interior. I don't think I've ever used these. Actually, I think I 
driven once with these gloves. But even up here, it's done in the same uh, color suede. Uh, just an absolute piece of art. So very excited to have this in my collection. Now, this is a Pagani Hyra. This was my first car I did uh, with Hermes. Took me the longest because it was the first project. But again, this also has really unique features. All the grills are done in the edge pattern for Hermes. Uh, again, the color brown is a Hermes color. This also has everything in the interior, upholstered and designed by Hermes. Again, the seats are designed in a very simple fashion. Uh, the gear knob is a one-off. Also, all the stitching here, even the bags in here, they're all stitched at the Hermes factory. And of course, it comes with a lot of bags. I believe this one has seven-piece luggage set. There's two over here, there's also underneath. Well, the best part of the car is the engine. It's just a piece of art. So let me pop it up and show you guys the engine because it's, it's a must-see. And aren't these doors cool? Look at that. And are you guys ready? And this is even signed by Hiroshio Pagani himself. And look at that engine. Of course, it's the AMG 12 cylinder twin turbo with the titanium exhaust. And this one here has a Tempesta package, which is an upgraded exhaust, uh, bigger wheels, and a tighter suspension. And are you guys ready for more bags? More Hermes bags here. So this is really cool. These are all out of the same leather as the interior. And if you want to go cross country, you have no problem for baggage room. And other cool things with this car is even the manual, all done in Hermes leather, super soft, really cool. But more than anything, I love the stitching. So this is the only Pagani with the Hermes leather stitching. Usually these come with the clasps. So not the fastest car I own. I think this has 760 horsepower, but I think it's still the most detailed car in my opinion. So let's move on to my newest arrival. This is my third Hermes car. This is a Speedtail McLaren. They only made 106 in the world and 20 something for US, but this is the only one of one because it's an Hermes uh, designed car. So this one has so much technology it actually has a wireless pad underneath to charge the car and you have to keep it charged at all times if you skip one day the car goes dead it's the only thing but you know. of course the car is extremely unique because you're a center seat uh, driver and you're basically in the middle of the road that would be the coolest part of the car, I would say, aside from being 17 feet long, very long car. And when you drive it, you don't really feel the power because it's so smooth. And actually, this is faster than the Bugatti Chiron from zero to 200 miles an hour, I think by two seconds. And take a look at the inside. All the leather was done by Hermes, the fabric. I believe this is the only speed tail in the world that's got the entire cockpit covered with fabric or leather. The rest are exposed carbon fiber, but it's uh, gorgeous. I just wish I didn't go so white because every time I get in and out, I leave it spots. So, and the rear engine cover was also a one-off. It's got the edge pattern again for Hermes. Um, other cool features are the hopcaps. The hopcaps also have, um, in French, it says dress by Hermes right here. I don't speak French. I should after three Hermes cars, but, <laughs> but this is chassis number 24. It says one of one and it says dress by Hermes. And of course, it's got to come with a bag. Let me show you guys the bag. And voila, there is a Hermes bag that matches the car, same leather. Some, something else that's cool about the Speedtail is a toolkit. So it comes with a gold toolbox. 
I don't know who's gonna use it, but it's cool in case you get stuck on the road. What else is really cool about this car? If you notice the edge here, this is really cool uh, pattern. They put H4 Hermes into the paint. It's metallic. In the sun, it really pops. And then guess what? I put the coordinates of the factory of Hermes on one mirror and coordinates of the factory of McLaren in UK on the other one. So these are smaller details that I think it's, it's a fantastic thing to have when you're designing a car. All right, well here we got a Ford GT. This one needs no introduction. Uh, Ford GT did an amazing job when they upgraded the design of the body and they went from V8 to V6, but make no mistake, this V6 twin turbo is extremely fast. And I love how Ford redesigned the body. Honestly, it's up par with Ferrari, Lamborghini uh, in terms of design. It's really easy to get in and out of, out of and um, I opted for the Heritage Edition. They, I think they only made 40 of these, and I opted for additional uh, rims in carbon fiber, because the car, you know, it has a lot of carbon fiber, wet look, accents, and I thought these wheels uh, kind of goes better with the car. Otherwise, they come with the, like a gold, uh, gold wheels. And I'm sure you guys seen Ford GTs before. Nothing to brag about, but it's pretty cool. I love it. A lot of carbon fiber. All right, are you guys ready to move on to the other side? Let's go. <laughs> oh, before we get there, you should know this desk also is a piece of uh, art that uh, cost me a lot of money to design. Took eight months to build it. It was 1,300, uh, it's 1,300 pounds, uh, solid aluminum, and it uh, has about 2,000 screws holding it together. And they had to actually bolt it with a 10 inch screws, three on each side, so that this doesn't tip over. Originally, they had a wheel over here and I wanted this to look like a jet fighter that's flying. So I told them I don't want the wheel and that took extra three months because they had to go back to the drawing board and put a carbon fiber tube to hold the weight and bolt it to the ground. But it's pretty cool. Obviously it's a B2 uh, fighter jet. You can see the cockpit here. There's another cockpit here and there is thousands of CNC machine cut into this aluminum. And I don't know, I just love looking at it every day and fortunately you know when i sell the building i'll probably have to mark up the building a couple of million bucks because i'm not going to be able to move it 1300 pounds <laughs> these are also unique these are made by a japanese designer they only made 48 in the world and it's real carbon fiber and they, it kind of looks like avantador uh, lamborghini seat pattern um, i bought these then i said okay i gotta upgrade my desk to match my seats so that's how this, this came about. Here we have a dirty Porsche. <laughs> it's a, a nine, 992 Targa Heritage Edition. They made 992. Um, it's pretty cool because they use, some of the material they use is really classic, uh, this type of fabric. And they brought future and the past together. It's still pretty elegant, but has that classic look. That's why it's called the Heritage. Uh, it's not the fastest Porsche. I think 450 horsepower, but it's pretty cool. I, I love the gold, the burgundy, and that tan interior. Gorgeous. And this is my daily driver. I drive this every day. Um, well, this or my other uh, few Rolls Royce races I own. Uh, I love the uniqueness of this car. The drop head is not being made anymore. They made them from 2008, which is the first year I bought mine. Um, and then till 2017. I think it's, you know, something about this car is just longer, bulkier, sets higher, and it has some sort of a presence when you pull up, uh, unlike the Ghost and the Dons. This is just more massive and I love it. It's very comfortable. And then I have a little bit of an addiction with SLR McLarens. As you may know, uh, I have, uh, how many here? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven here, I actually have eight cars. One is at the factory being redone, uh, but I love these cars. I think for you know a car that's almost 20 years old, uh, it's gorgeous. The turbine wheels, the just the long hood, all the fans, 
having the exhaust on the side, uh, you know, 612 horsepower is a lot of power for a 20 year old car. And the doors, the Galwing doors, these are just gorgeous. I have uh, a, one in black and I believe four in silver red, and then one in white and one in blue uh, Roadster. And I'm working on something really cool with McLaren to do a one-off with one of my speedsters, um, or with one of my roadsters, I should say. Uh, so I'm pretty cool. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Bracking about myself. Cut that one out. You're going to edit this, right? I hope so. You're not going to just upload it. Right? <laughs> oh, oh my God. So here is my favorite uh, SLR roadster. I just love white, as you guys can tell. I like bright colors. And this comes with a 300 SL red stitching, which is a $10,000 option. Actually, it comes with a 300 SL red interior, not stitching. Uh, but it's pretty cool. There is only a handful of these in white. And uh, I went to buy a charger for my other SLR. And then when I bought the charger, I saw this as a consignment uh, car. I ended up buying it. And then I came back, I forgot to buy an another charger for this car. So, I had to go back by another charger, but it's a funny story. That charger cost me $250,000. So I was bored during the pandemic. I decided to make a sci-fi tunnel, uh, a semi-shock factor to the garage. And there you have it. This is the only thing that's not power. But when you come in here, you got this really cool window. And then you have this door that opens up. Sometimes, sometimes not. There we go. Well, I think uh, I covered all. Uh, thank you for watching. Never give up, dream big. I came to this country basically homeless 30 years ago and I never give up. Chase your dreams, work hard, dreams do come true. Thank you, God bless, see you guys next time.